Cindy out of here with my artsy endeavors. How are we doing? I'm doing fabulous. Um, I had a bunch of junk on my desk, but that's okay. Um, here we are with my creative year, and my review is going to be a little bit different this month because um, I have a lot of things going on, and this is something I really need to do. But let me just open this up. Here's my creative year main page. Um, we've got our book. This is our review, and I'm actually going to put this in here, what I'm doing today. So anyways, um, we haven't got into our chronic pain yet as far as this one, but it will be there very soon. All right, so this is... Our first, my creative, <laughs> I like her. All right, what I'm going to do today, what my review is about, it's for um, my creative year, but it's going to be something that I'm going to be able to use in my every, well, not my everyday life, but um, I'm going to be able to use quite often. What I'm going to make today is I am going to make a, a an editable, how do I say this, editable, <laughs> I'm going to make a list that I can check mark for things that I need when I'm traveling. Um, one thing is the medications. We're going to work on that. Another thing is I want to have an art supply list. Um, the third thing is I want my um, the paraphernalia I need when I travel. For example, my ice machine, my TENS unit, that kind of stuff. So anyways, let's get going on this. Um, I found a couple, where is it, in here. These are just some 6x6 uh, six six pads. I have a bunch of them, and I just I need to start using some of these up. So this one I thought was really cool. And I like the fact that it's got this paint on the one side and then the horses on the other side for like a travel, so that's cool. Um, this one I really like. Now this is going to, doing this process is going to involve quite a few things. I'm going to be getting out my laminator. I'm going to be um, carving, okay? So there's all kinds of things in this. Let me grab my uh, grab my cutter here and let's get this top off these. Um, doesn't matter where, I just want the top off. Okay, so there's one and here's my other. Now I just want to make sure I stay in frame. I have a bad habit of uh, moving my camera in too far or out too far and I'm gonna to try to fix that this year we'll see how it works all right now I don't want them this size I don't want them this big so what I really would like ideally let's see three inches let's make it three and a half three and a quarter I'm gonna make it three and a quarter that looks about good this is the one I want to use so three and a quarter let's put that aside and we're gonna do this one three and a quarter All right, so I've got my two, and I love them, perfect. So let's move this over. Now, what I'm going to do with these, like I said, I'm gonna create and make lists on these, and we're gonna, we're gonna gussy them up a little bit. I don't know where that word came from. We were on our trip south, and I said to my husband, we need to gussy it all up, and he's like, what? <laughs> but, again, I'm gonna make these into lists. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna get out some Speedy Carve here, and, as soon as I find my cutting mat. Hold on. Be right back. Yeah, it was right here next to me. Um, he says, what is that gussied up? I'm like, I don't know. It's just, it came out of my mouth. I don't know. So this is just Speedy Carve. Um, and I'm going to want it quite large. So we're going to do this. All I'm doing, I just cut it in half. That's all I did. And we'll throw that back in the tin. Now what I want, I gotta remember when I stamp it, it's gonna be like that. So I just want about that much. I hear everybody going, oh, no, don't hurt your fingers. Yeah, I won't. Or if I do, it's okay. All right, so what I'm going to draw in here, this is just a um, Walmart, oh no, this is a Staples. Same thing, um, just a permanent marker. Now, when I stamp it, I want the square over here. So I'm just going to put a square here. And then I want it to stamp a line. Very simple, right? So let's take one of these. I just bought a couple new of these, which is good. Um, let's see. I want a bigger one. Let's use this one right here. Well, that's smaller. 
Do, 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 do. This one's a U. That'll work. Do, 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 do. Wrong way. Helps if you put it in the right way, right? Alright. Yeah, and everybody's like, oh, you're going to cut yourself. No, I'm not. I won't cut myself. I just got to figure out how to get it in here. I know it's not that hard. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carve um, everything away from that block and that line. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to make you painstakingly sit here and watch this. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward through this and I will be back. All right, yep, you saw me do it. I got a little blood. It's all good. Okay, what I'm going to do now, this is just a card I've got sitting here. Hopefully I won't need a Band-Aid. Um, come on, you. What I want to do now is I'm going to ink this and see, I want to see exactly what it looks like. So I'm just going to grab an ink pad if I can remember where I put them. should be right here in front of me. Uh, here we go, right here. I'm going to use my stays on just because that's what's available. And we are going to see what the carving looks like. All right. So this gives me an idea. So I've got a couple things here I want to clean up. I want to clean up this edge, and then I'm going to clean up that box. So let's move this aside. I'm going to use my older one because A, it's not as sharp, and B, I want to do just smaller stuff. So I'm going to work on this. This is first the box. Okay, I'm going to take down these high points, which is what's hitting the ink. You can see where the ink is on it. So you just take down those high points. See where the ink is on it, on that right there. So I'm just going to take those down. Do, do, do. I am so excited. We are in the process of building, or yeah, building, buying a house down south, and I am just beyond excited. We have wanted to move south for many, many, many years. And now that my hubs is retired, we have the ability to do so. All right, now, I took a little bit of that. Now, I want to straighten up this line a little bit. Just going to take a little bit off. I don't want it as thick. So just straighten it up. 
Do the same thing here. This is pretty straight. I want to take more off the top. Oops. Now, I know, yes, I'm doing this toward my hand, but I'm being very gentle when I do this because I don't want to um, cut my fingers because I have a lot of art I want to get done. All right, so now I'm just taking off that top layer in the box so that I can use it for a check mark. And then I'm going to have to find a dry eraser pen, something that I can wipe off. Because once I put the list on here and then I laminate these, then I can just go through and check what I've got, what I'm missing. You know what I'm saying? So that's my um, plan for this project. Is to be able to use it when I travel so that um, I don't forget things. Because it's very easy, you know, whether you're in a fibro flare or in, you know, just a lot of pain. Um, you tend to forget a lot of things really easily. So um, that's what I'm going to use this for. All right, let's do another stamp. Try it again. We'll try it on this other side. Oops. See what it's doing? This is what I want. So I'm just going to look at it. <clears throat> see what lines I need to clean up a little bit. So I want to clean up this line right here. Clean that up. I want to clean up my box a little bit. So I'm going to clean up the box. And you know what? It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not looking for perfection. Okay, and see where I pushed down, where I got this ink? That's just because of where I pushed down. So, I'm actually going to take my X-Acto knife. I'm going to cut off the top of this. Make it a little bit more, a little bit smaller, which is fine. Alright, there we go. So, here is, let me just clean that up a little bit right there. One more time, we're going to stamp it. And it's perfect. Okay, let me put this stuff away and then we're going to continue making our list. I'll be right back. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead. Um, here's my stamp that I just created. And the first thing I want to do is I want to put a title line on the top of this. And I'm not really measuring. I'm just kind of making sure it's straight. No big deal. All right, I'm just putting a line here for guidance. Um, my pencil line, and then I'll shut that off when it's... Or, yeah, I'll shut it off. I'll shut that off <laughs> when I don't need it anymore. All right, so this is going to be my um, medical. So I am just going to... M-E. And I don't care that the... the Letters are lowercase or uppercase. That's fine with me. D I C. And some people this would drive crazy, but like I said, I, I think that's all part of it. Let me D I C A L. Um, I think that's just part of the creativity is when you do it all different letters. So I have my stamps here. I've got an archival ink pad. And I am just going to stamp medical right here. There we go. Alright, so there's that. Now I just want to clean these off a little bit. Now that is my medical list. And what I'm going to do now is just erase this line because I don't need it. It was just a guidance. Or just a guide for me. So... All right, now I'm going to take my stamp that I just created and I'm just going to put some lines on here. I'm going to think about different things that I need to take as I do this. So here's one. Oh, not real bright on the ink. So I'm going to go in with a Sharpie after that. Fix that one. 
times two. Yeah, a little better. It's all good. This is handmade. It's what I need. It's going to do its purpose. I'm all good with it. I don't think my this ink pad is um, has much ink in it either. So I think that might be part of my problem, but that's okay. All right, let's do another one. So let me think. My meds, my ice machine, my TENS unit, my pain patches, my cane, my scoot and do. Yeah, I've had um, a couple people say to me, geez, I hope you don't have to use that stuff all the time. Well, most of it, yeah. Um, I do have to use it. And I'm learning that, you know, I've got to use it more. My hubby keeps telling me I have to. Because if not, he sees the pain I'm in, so. All right. So there's that. Now I'm just going to take this permanent marker here and see how I've got these little marks here. I'm going to end up cutting those off. But I'm just going to go over this a little bit with my permanent marker. Like I said, I don't think I have much ink in there. So just make them a little bit darker. Just finish them up. My little box here, I was a little bit lenient on putting my ink down, so it's all good. Alright, so let's cut this edge off where I got too much ink on it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the things on here that I need. So the first thing is meds. I need my ice machine. I need my TENS unit. I need my pain patches. I need my cane. I need my scoot and do. Now that's for this one I'm gonna leave it for right now. I'm gonna think a little bit more on, you know, if I have anything on here that I've missed that I need to add. Um, this one is going to be art supplies that I'm gonna work on. So let's this isn't there it is. This is the right one. Alright. Cat hair, my kitty cat was up on my desk. Alright, let's go ahead and do the stamping on this one. Um, actually, before we do that, let's put in art supplies. A-R-D. And again, I'm going to do my guideline here. Is that right? Just a little guide. And here is art. Art. Let me get out supplies. Uh, hang on, dear. I'm recording. Hold on, please. All right, so we've got supplies here, so I'm going to put ink that up. Too much stuff on my desk. Make sure I've got it good, and we're going to put supplies right here. That looks funny. <laughs> See how that turned out? Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> so, we're going to change some of these out. Um, let's get... 
rid of a big P. We're going to have to do this one again, which is fine. That's what happens. S-U-P-P-L. Let's do a different L. I-E-S. All right. Now, because I've already done this, that's fine. I'm just going to use it again. I get rid of the big U. Make a little U right here. Now this is no big deal because what I'll end up doing is taking this book, I'm sorry, this piece of paper and just cutting this out and using it in some collage. So let's go ahead, let us let me get another piece of paper and get it cut and I'll be right back. All right, so I did it again and this one is just going up and down instead of sideways on the colors. So we've got art supplies. Now I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna use this stamp and I am going to um, make like a checklist. So there's one. There's two. And it's okay, I don't want them even, I don't want them straight, it's fine. This is what I'm making for me. It's just a reminder, it's all good. There's three. All right, I still have, this is really annoying me, so let's get this out of here. Let's take off these high points. Because if you notice, I still have them showing up down here, and I don't like that. So I'm just taking off some of the high points here. And this, um, this list is going to be a basic art supplies, like I'll put on here pens, um, you know, um, watercolor. Depends on what I'm doing or where I'm going as to what I'm going to take. But this will give me a good idea of, you know, my basics. I have my pens, a pencil, that kind of stuff. And then I can um, customize it for wherever I'm going with my art supplies as to what else I bring additionally, right? So let's put this here. All right, so I'm going to take, same thing we did before. I'm gonna take my marker and just fix my box here a little bit. Nothing crazy. I'm gonna box that, I kinda like it wonky. It looks wonky. All right, so here's my list of art supplies. All right, I'm gonna clean some of this up. I will be right back. We'll go through our art supplies. We'll get out the laminator and we'll finish up this project. I'll be back. All right, so we've got both of our tags or cards here. Um, I did write down some general art supplies that I want to make sure I take with me anytime I go somewhere. I have basic pens, Neocolor or Stabilo Woodies. Um, if you're not sure what the Woodies are, check them out on Amazon. They're really cool. Uh, glues and tapes, tools, meaning my scissors and a hole punch, a journal, of course, um, some scrap papers and some focal points. Now, <clears throat> I don't want this just to be ick, so we're just going to make it pretty. So let's throw... We're going to put on a white. Oh, well, maybe not. Look at that. Look at that sucked down into that scrapbook paper. See it? It's gone. <laughs> that worked well. Let's see if we can do it again. <laughs> huh. All right, then. So this scrapbook paper does not like the white Posca. That's very interesting to find out. The first layer sucks right down in. The second layer stays up. Interesting. All right, so I'm going to have to go around this again. 
Now I do have my laminator out here. Um, I'm going to show you real quick how I laminate these. They're, it's not going to be hard. I'm trying to think if I want to put anything else on the backs of these. And right now I don't think I do. So it's just going to be a basic tag per se. You know what? Maybe we should do some art on the back of these. What do you think? Hmm. We might have to do that. Hold on. Hold on. Doo, doo, doo. Right now I'm putting a, a border around this one just because I can. Okay, and then of course the black pen will stay, unlike the Posca, and it does show through a little bit. So let me think about this for a second, see if I'm going to actually put art around this. Um, I'll be right back. All right, so yeah, I can't just leave these as is. We have to do more to them. So I've got some white acrylic paint, titanium white. I've got some Liquitex soft body. This is a vivid lime green. And I have Luca's, um, this is apricot acrylic. Now I also have sitting here, I have a gold, iridescent gold. I might use a little bit of that, I'm not really sure. But what we're gonna do, I've got some stencils. These are from Stencil Girl. And this is, uh, this month was Seth Apter was the actual designer. So these are really cool. I can't wait to play with them. So let's just, oops, let's just see what we've got. Let's put some color down. Just put down some color. My palette, I'm going to put something sticky on the bottom of it so it doesn't move. I chose light colors because I want the design that's on there right now to shine, to show through. So that's why I'm using the light colors that I am. Which it's all good. Do I like it? Can you see that? Check out that pattern. So cool. All right, and this one, you know what, let's use this. Let's just go like that. Where's my brayer? I'm just gonna brayer on the leftovers. Sounds like a plan, didn't do much. That's okay. All right, let's hit this real quick with a dryer. If I can find it. I am so discombobulated. All right, there we go. Now I also have some white put out here and I am gonna use some of that as well. Let me just throw some white down just to change it up a little bit. I like that. Now I want some black. Here's black. This is just a uh, Deco Art Crafters Acrylic Black. Throw a little on my tray here. And let's take, just want to do around this circle and this circle. Okay. Let's go right da, 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 right here. All right, I like it. See, we just decorated it up. Now I'm gonna do some, um, once it dries, I'll go ahead and do some doodling on that so I can pull out some stuff on there. But in the meantime, let's set that one aside. I know this is probably nothing on here, but hey, and it's not. So I'm gonna use a couple other stencils. Again, this is the um, monthly stencil girl club. Oops! And I just got paint all over some stamps. We'll get into these a little bit later. But for right now, let's finish up what we have here. All right. So again, this is another um, Seth After stamp, and look at this. Isn't that cool? Look at that face. How cool is that? 
I love it. Love it. And you know what I think I'm going to do? I think she is going to go on here. And I want her... See, I'm doing it upside down. I'm trying to do it upside down. Right there. And what I'm going to do... So I'm actually going to take the black and I'm going to black out all of this. Just because I can. Right? Oops. It's moving a little bit. That's okay. She doesn't need to be perfect. Nobody's perfect. All right. How cool is that? I love it all right I need to get these dry let me go ahead and do that and then we're gonna start playing around with some doodles and um, actually you know what before I dry that I want to put a few of these on here let's see if this green will work it'll work too much but it'll work all right let's dry them up yay I'll be right back Okay, now because I don't want this video um, 12 hours long, I am going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through the, the rest of this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play around. I'm going to do some doodles, um, that type of thing. And then I'll be back and we'll go ahead and laminate these up and get them put in our book. So enjoy and I'll be back in a bit. Is there any chance you can... So we got these dried up. Um, this one I just added, it says take care of you. And the reason I did that is because, you know, I need to take care of myself with all this medical stuff. So um, the other thing I wanted to do is I just wanted to put a black edging around these. Now I have my laminator sitting here. I'll bring it over in front of me here in a minute. Um, it's been warming up for quite a while. Uh, the laminator that I have is called a swing line, S-W-I-N-G-L-I-N-E. Very, very um, affordable on uh, Amazon. 
it was like twenty twenty five dollars something like that and um, I love it I really love it so whoops I do that see every time <laughs> I don't mind all right so that one's done now um, with the laminator I also rounded my corners on these just because I didn't want the sharp corners so I rounded my corners I'm trying to be very careful so I don't get more streaks across my there we go and then when I'm done doing this I'll end up with oh no okay all right let's do this side the reason I have to do both sides is I'm actually doing this kind of tilted in because I want to see that black border. Um, if I didn't want to see it, then I could just do it straight on the line and it would take care of the white. But anyways, so here we go. Now, let me move these to the side. This is just a piece of hot laminating um, material. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these. I'm going to lay them in here. Um, let's put them all the way to the bottom. And try not to pick up any cat hair on these. You know what? I'm just going to do it right here. Let's move it over. Give it room. Let's give it some room. Okay? So I got this in the laminating pouch. Here's my laminator. Let me bring you out for this. All right, here's my laminator. It's a swing line. Um, it can be used for hot or cold. Right now it's very, very hot. And um, you want your laminator hot. Now, I could take this and I could put it on a piece, of, a piece of copier paper and run it through. I don't do that. I just run the laminate through. So I'm just going to put it on here and let the machine catch it. There it goes. See, the machine caught it. So now the machine is taken over. And we're just going to let it run through. Do, 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 do. And while we wait, I'm going to find my um, hole punch. Because I want my hole punch. Ugh. I'm finding hole punches, just not the one I want. Hmm. I wonder where my big one is. All right, we'll have to use this one. Now, with laminating things, um, you can just laminate it one time. You can run it through the machine one time, and it'll be fine. I don't like to do that. I like to put it through twice. And reason being, I'll show you in just a minute. Whatever you do, don't pull on this. Just let it come through. Um, it's pretty slow, but it does a nice job. Okay, now it released it. All right, so this is still really hot. I'll just kind of cool it down a little bit. All right, there we go. Um, now, you can see how it's completely laminated it, which is all good, but I just, I always run it through a second time. I don't know if it's habit. I don't know if it really matters, if it really does anything. It's just the way I do it. So, I'm going to finish that. And then, um, let's see, what's next? I want to put a hole in these. I want to put a little bit of um, string on the ends of them. And these I'm actually going to keep right in my Creative Year book because as I travel, um, that's going to go with me. So what a great place for these lists, right? Now, if I had it, and I don't have one here, I looked. If I had a um, erasable, um, an erasable pen, what I can do is as I pack these things, I just do a check mark. Once I have everything, I can just wipe it off. So these will be able to be reused over and over and over again. All right, so there we did. We laminated it twice. So I'm going to shut this off and get my cutting out. But I know I need a new blade, so let's do that. Come on, blade. Come to me. All right, let's grab a new blade. I noticed that one was shot when I cut these out. Um, because um, what will happen is the uh, sides of the paper starts to fray. All 
can never have enough new blades. All right. So we have a new blade in there. Now don't cut yourself, Cindy. All right, so I'm just going to put these on here now. They're completely laminated. Okay, I can write on them. I can do whatever I want to them. And everything is fine. Um, let me... I just want to put them there. These little pieces um, I can keep because I can put some alcohol inks on these, which are really cool, and then just use them in my art. So I'm going to cut this one off first. Let's put you right about there. Okay, I'm going to cut the end of it off. I want you right about there. All right, and then I'm going to take my corner rounder again because I have the sharp on that. So I'm just going to throw it in the rounder. Now I hear some people saying, oh, no, 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 I, you know, what if I change? That's no big deal. If you change what you want to take with you, just write over it on your, um, you know, on this paper, and then you can just wipe it all off. It's no big deal. So there's one of them. Let's get this other one. All right. I'm going to put you right about, hang on about there. How do you like my measuring? Right about, <laughs> right about there. All I'm doing is I'm actually looking at where my cut is, which is right here, um, and how much I want to keep of this laminating pouch on it. So that's what I was measuring by. Come on. That one doesn't like. Let's try that again. Okay. All right, so let's move this to the side. Now I'm going to take my hole punch here. And I'm going to punch. I want it this way so I can see where I'm punching. Do, 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 do. Close enough. Close enough. Got my hole. Let me bring you guys back in. Got my hole there. Let's do my hole here. Where's this one? And there's my hole there. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta grab some strings. Hold on. All right, now what I decided to do is I just want to put strings on this. I just had another idea on how I can use these as well. Is I have a bag that is normally used for my travel bag. Um, I can actually tie these onto my travel bag too, which would be really cool. So what I'm gonna do is I am just going to put these in here. Hopefully I can get them all in there. Yep. Okay, I've got my set here. Let's see, there, there, there. And then I'm just gonna pull them over, pull them up through. Through, and then I'm just gonna cut that one. So there we go. Here's my art supply tag and my medicine tag. So this is just a little project. Um, you know, instead of doing a review per se, I'm reviewing how um, I am incorporating my chronic pain into the My Year 2017. And um, Hopefully this will give you guys an idea of what to do when you're packing to go somewhere and a way to keep track of what you'd like to take with you or what you normally have to take with you. And you'll be able to use these two um, tags.
All right. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I think they're pretty cool, and I'm really excited that it's got quite a few different elements that are um, I've added to them. So as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.